Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I came up with this sweet Valentine's Day makeup look. It's basically rose gold eyes, nude lips, and really glowy, shimmery skin. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. As always, I'm beginning by priming my skin, so I'm using the Face of Australia Face Base Primer. And then to fill in my most noticeable pores, I'm taking the Professional and applying that mainly to the T-zone area of my face. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. If you watched my recent monthly favourites for January, you would know that I'm utterly obsessed with this foundation. It's actually quite scary how obsessed I am with it. But as you can see, I am donning it all over my face and then blending it in. I find by doing it this way, I waste less product. So that's what I'm doing. to get the concealer and highlight on so as always I'm using my Maybelline dark circle eraser concealer and applying that underneath my eyes down the bridge of my nose and um, a little above my brows and my chin and then of course I'm taking the beloved beauty blender damp and blending it into my skin <laughs> To set my concealer, I am taking my Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. This stuff is really great because it's so finely milled that it doesn't settle into any fine lines on my face, so it keeps it looking fresh all day long. And then for the rest of my face, I am just powdering it with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder. <laughs> Time to bronze up my skin, so for that I'm using my trusty old NARS bronzer in the shade Casino with a really large fluffy powder brush and I'm just kind of running this over my cheeks and on my temples, a little on my chin and then whatever's left can go on the side of my nose. This isn't contouring, I'm going to do that in the next step. It's just to add a little more colour and life into my face again. So here we go with the contour. As you can see, I'm using the AC Ontour Contouring and Highlighting Kit by Astralis. And I'm taking that middle shade from the palette and just ever so lightly applying it to my cheekbones. Or to the hollows of my cheekbones, I should probably say. I know you guys know what I mean. But anyway, after I finish doing that, I'm then going to take whatever product is left on my brush and just roughly contour my nose with it. Next up, I'm just adding some blush to my face, so I decided to go with the NARS blush in, this, in the shade, that is such a tongue twister, in the shade Sin. And I'm actually using a Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush for this because I didn't have any clean blush brushes. Moving on to my eyes, I'm firstly priming them with a NYX Flesh Toned Eyeshadow Primer and then I'm going into my beloved Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and taking the shade Salted Caramel and applying that to my crease. You actually won't see that footage because my camera cut out, but that's what I'm doing first. And then as an all over lid colour, I'm going to take the shade Creme Brulee and apply that all over my lid up to the crease. For the next step, I am spritzing my eyeshadow brush with some Fix Plus and then I'm dipping it into this pigment by Savvy in the shade Wildflower. It's this really beautiful pinky gold pigment. I don't even know how to describe it, but this is the pigment that helps to give the eyes that rose gold effect. To give my eyes a little more definition, I'm taking the shade Semi Sweet and just applying that to the outer corner of both my eyes. Yeah. 
After that's done, I'm then taking the Sigma E40 brush, which is what I use to apply salted caramel to my crease. And I'm just using this to blend out the edges so everything's nice and smooth and not harsh. Next up, I'm just running the shade Salted Caramel along my lower lash lines and I'm using the Sigma E30 pencil brush for that. Now to add some shimmer to the inner corner of my eye, I'm taking the shade Marzipan and just applying it to that area. Just under the arch of my brows, I am applying the shade White Chocolate. To tight line my eyes, I'm just using the Essence Kajal Pencil in Black. To line my waterline, I'm just using this Rimmel London Scandalized Eye Pencil in Nude. This is going to help my eyes appear more wide and bright. For winged liner, I'm using my favourite product for it, which is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. Next up, I'm just curling my lashes because I'm going to apply some mascara to them. So my all-time favorite mascara ever is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. This stuff's great, it's super black, and it makes your lashes look really full and voluminous. So that's what I'm using to coat both my bottom and top lashes. As you can see, I'm now applying some falsies, so the ones that I used for this particular look were the Red Cherry Wispy false lashes, and I'm not very good at applying them, so excuse the fact that I'm using my fingers, but it gets the job done. Next, it is time for my lips, so I'm taking this Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude, and I'm just lining and filling in my lips with it. <laughs> My lipstick of choice for this look is the Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipstick in the shade Check In In. And then to top it off and add some gloss to my lips, I'm using the Maybelline Lip Elixir in Nude Illusion. And the last step is to apply some highlight. Of course, I'm using the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. For some reason, I really like to highlight my skin last. I feel like it's the finishing touch to the look. So I'm just applying it in the usual places, down the bridge of my nose, on the tops of my cheekbones, a little above my brows, just all the areas of my face that I want to glow. <laughs> And there we have it guys, that's the completed look. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun creating it and coming up with it. I absolutely love rose gold, so why not put it on my face? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. I only discovered it two weeks ago and it's like my holy grail foundation, I swear. I just love it.